now with your uh, with the initial class where everyone kind of met. Um, now, did you create the syllabus for that class? Was that a class that was, or was it handed to you? All the classes in modern Japan. Sure. I uh, I I made it myself. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Now, is that where is that where everyone initially met? Let's see. I. You know what? I th I don't think Matt is not my student, really. You know, he's oh, okay. a he's a friend of uh, Jake's and OJ's. We're we're all mostly we're almost like closely related. I mean, with the we're in the same majors and stuff. Okay. Like that, so mostly same classes. Yeah, Chris Ilsey is actually in my Asian Civilizations class, earlier class, and uh, you know the, some of the people were here early earlier, like uh, Cassie and uh, Jason, the guy with the pink hair. They're also in my Asian Civilization class, but. Uh, we just kind of happened to be talking to each other and sort of things evolve in different directions. Now with something like the interview series that you're creating, mm -hmm. um, is there an end goal with that? Do you intend to screen it publicly? We'll be happy to screen it like uh, completely uncut and so on and so forth sure. if there's a venue for that. But right now I think the idea is to interview any good uh, local artists, musicians, Anybody who can encourage and, and uh, give us a sense of joy about the act of creation. So the first person we interviewed, I interviewed actually, was uh, Dr. Al Cave, who is a retired professor at the University of Toledo. He specialized in Native American history, but also very well read in poetry. So he did something on Harold Norse. Oh, I love Harold. Yeah, we, he was very good, uh, kind of a on the off the cuffs disquisition about him. He read some poems by him and also by his uh, old friend Lee Lowell, you know, who was a hunchback and mm. living in Austin, Texas. So, uh, hmm. let's see. Um, <coughs> now, our, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of what I wanted to ask next, but I, I guess uh, with the uh, with, with these projects, um, is the intention, I, I know I asked about the video project, with your project, is, is the intention to, uh, to make it, to make work like that publicly available? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, within the publication, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Because I know we, have, we, have, do, we do have a, a Fox website up, it's a, it's a message board, hmm. but that, we've talked about that before, being the you know, a vehicle for, you know, establishing a, maybe like a, an easy or something like that, some sort of, that's something we should kind of discuss a little bit of how to get our publication out public. And um, and so, yeah, I guess for, I mean, for the for the manga, that's one thing that we desire to do is not only to push our boundaries, you know, as artists and our writers, but also showcase our, you know, showcase what we have. Maybe that might become something down the road. So. Now, when you guys get together, is it more of a spontaneous situation or the regular get-togethers that you have? Um, on Fridays we meet at 4.30. Okay. And then um, I know starting in a week or two we're gonna be doing a, a, a multi-meetings throughout the week. And I like for the, for the artists to actually meet uh, once or twice during the week together to do the art um, so that we can, so we're all on the same page, the same with the writers to meet, you know, or maybe it was like for 15 minutes, just meet, exchange ideas, swap ideas, so. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, right now we're meeting, I uh, have just one meeting, and that's where we get together, brainstorm ideas, and flesh stuff out, so. And the same thing with the acting workshop. Mm -hmm. We meet every Wednesday at six o'clock, mm -hmm. and uh, Thursday now we're starting to do a, like a section two of acting workshop, come the creative writing workshop around 4.30 or so. So all of this stuff is still very embryonic, gelling. Um, we also have the SOS Frisbee. We had the SOS Frisbee <laughs> Those are spontaneous. Game. Those are spontaneous. <laughs> okay, one thing I didn't ask is the name, like the SOS Brigade, like where do, where do they come from? <coughs> well, we're, uh, we're big nerds. Uh, As am I. We, we watch a lot of uh, anime, a lot of Japanese cartoons. Okay. So there was uh, a few years ago, there was a show that came out called The Melancholy of Padre Suzumiya. Hmm. And uh, in, in that show, uh, the, the namesake of the show, Hamihi Suzumiya, is this. Um, kind of a bizarre student. And she starts this school organization that doesn't really have like a focus. She just wants to start it like a club, I guess. Sure. Uh, she calls it the SOS Brigade. 
and she enlists random students that she's like never met before or that she hardly knows. And they, well, I want to say that they collaborate on things, but uh, the whole show just kind of centers around this randomness, this like, I don't know, there's, there's this energy about them when they get together, but it's... Yeah, they do make videos, they do performances, singing, but the basic, the, the plot is basically, the SO's brigade in the show consists of, you know, this guy who's a typical high schooler, very cynical, and then you have a, I believe an alien, somebody who has, compl and also somebody else who uh, can have supernatural powers and, and time traveler. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we're trying to keep uh, this girl, Suzumiya, from changing the world because she's actually a god who is in charge of everything, but she doesn't know it herself. And um, the Japanese, SOS really stands for Sekai o Oi ni Mori Ageru, Suzumiya Haruhi no Dan, meaning it is an organization to arouse the world uh, and just fuck shit up to make it more interesting for Suzumiya Haruhi. Um, now, as obviously, this is a pretty large group, like because people are people, and it takes a lot for people to get along. And it's it's great to see this many people. Do you find your numbers growing? Like, are there people coming up to you that say, "I want to be involved with this"? Mm -hmm. to, to be honest, I'm, I'm not even well acquainted with anybody here. <laughs> I actually haven't met anyone before. Oh, okay. he's, a, he's a president, yeah. but he's very busy. He's got uh, like he's a. a He's got full-time work workload. You know, he works at Toledo Hospital. Sitting next to somebody and, you, and you're, you're talking about it, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, you're in that too." Yeah. Like, okay. that's, 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 that's cool. how it kind of is. Like, I see, I, the mail list, mailing list keeps on getting bigger. I know it's from from the get go. It's now. <laughs> cool. I, I've, I can relate. I've spent five years as a field reporter for the same newspaper, and I uh, a lot of people you don't even know them. Like people come up to you on the street and they'll be like, "Oh, you know this person?" I'm like, "No, no." So I can relate to that. <laughs> but so. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, we're just picking up new. Yeah. Just things are coming together, going apart, just constantly changing. So is there um, is is there anything that like brand new that's kind of really in its genesis that you guys are? Uh, just just now getting to are there any new projects I know your project seems like you've done some obviously some work on it and you're moving mm -hmm. forward not, so good, not as much as I would have hoped to I mean <laughs> but yeah we've done we've made a lot of headway in, in, in the storyline I'm not quite sure the other projects the, 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 the creative writing I'm not quite sure where that's going but for us yeah we've seen we've, we've seen we, we, we got some stuff down Mm -hmm. so you know, part of the difficulty is just trying to get people yeah. together because everybody's like on full time, you know, schedule. Sure. And this is completely outside of class, as you mentioned before. So, just getting people at the same meeting mm -hmm. itself is a bit of a challenge. That's why we have a forum to do this stuff online. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, th I can foresee, obviously, you know, issues about this in the future. But uh, something we have to work with because everybody has these, not just you know working full time as a student, but also for, full time as a you know wage worker as well. I, I can imagine doing something like this that people will discover talents that they didn't even know they had. Mm -hmm. Or um, is that has that been the case for anyone? It's like an excuse to create. Is That's how good. I like to describe it. It's like I haven't drawn in years, and all of a sudden this comes along, and I have a chance to outlet my creativity. So. And how you you feel like you know? Obviously, that's I, I would guess that's a positive. How's it going? Good. It is good, and it's nice to actually be able to pick up a pencil and draw again. That's something that I, I really enjoy and I haven't done in a couple of years. So is there anything in particular you're working on? Um, just the manga, character creations, and hmm. something like that. It's got my hand. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good actress, too. <laughs> That's cool. So, I mean, the publication that you're putting together, it's going to be all online based, is that, that's the intention? Have we discussed this yet? <laughs> like a little bit, I don't, yeah. I don't mean, um, did me, me and you run through, or me and Steve, yeah, I know I ran through somebody, but, kind of, 
Um, not exactly. Yeah, the idea just you know pick up the pen and start making stuff, yeah. and all the formal procedures kind of follow suit. It's very kind of guerrilla type of organization in that sense. Um,